Hey YouTube, I'm back this time with a Bath & Body Works haul for spring 2022. I purchased this maybe at the tail end of February. It's been a little while that I've had it just because life is a little bit crazy town right now. So um, yeah, I'm just kind of sharing it now. I don't have any chit chat, so let's jump right in and get started. So I, this is really a, not quite a collective haul, but it was mostly online and a little bit in stores too, where I was just kind of using up some rewards and free item coupons. So yeah, that's what I've got today. So I picked up a foaming sugar body scrub in Gingham Love. I got this online, so I used up one of my rewards. So here in Colorado, you can uh, rack up rewards in stores, but you still can't use them in stores. So it's kind of a runaround, still kind of annoying, but at least it's better than it was a couple months ago. So anyway, the keynotes are sugared red berries, blushing freesia, and rose, yeah, rose meringue. So Gingham Love, um, I think it's a pretty nice fragrance. I don't think I like it enough to have a whole bunch of body care in it, but I do enjoy it in the scrub. I took off the, um, the seal or whatever. To me, this smells like a kind of powdery floral berry. So I definitely get the kind of powdery berry more so than the floral, but I think there is an unmistakable floral note in Gingham Love. So I think that it does smell kind of like what it's supposed to conceptualize. Like it smells very romantic, kind of like Valentine's Day esque and I really enjoy it. So again, I don't think I love it enough to have like a fine fragrance mist or whatever in it, but I think that because I've been wanting sugar scrubs, this is a pretty nice option for me. The next one is just a foaming sugar scrub in gingham. So I use a lot of gingham products. I uh, have gingham in shampoo and conditioner that I use every single day. I have it in minis. So gingham is not one of those scents that I really necessarily like pine for a lot, um, but I do enjoy having it when I do. So the notes are blue freesia, white peach, fresh clementine, violet, and clean musk. To me, gingham, like the original gingham, just smells like a very clean, very springtime appropriate, uh, kind of like a floral citrus. So not acidic in the way that like a pineapple would be acidic, but yeah, it just smells like a kind of floral orange or like a floral clementine. So I do enjoy it. It's a very unique fragrance. Um, it is pretty conceptual, so it's not going to, um, I don't think, you know, someone would stop you and say, man, you really smell like a floral orange. Like, I don't think you would really get that, but um, yeah, I think it's just a really nice, clean, conceptual fragrance. Great for the spring, but I think that I could use this anytime too. So um, I do enjoy having these sugar scrubs. The sugar scrubs are my favorite kind of scrub from Bath & Body Works. These are $16.50. I believe there has been a price increase in some scrubs, but I like to get the scrubs with my free item rewards just because it's really the best value for my reward. The next time I picked up was also another scrub that I got with a reward. Yeah, this is $16.50. Maybe the prices didn't go up. I don't know. I felt like I saw a scrub for like $17.50 or something. I I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like maybe some of them did go up in price. So this one is a sand and sea salt scrub in pink pineapple sunrise. So the fragrance is new in body care for this spring in 2022, but I'm pretty sure this is just a repackage of, um, it was a candle last year, what was it? Like orange pineapple sunrise, it was something kind of like that maybe or orange pineapple punch, it was something kind of like that. I had a candle in it last year. So this is not, necess not necessarily my favorite fragrance. I decided before the candle last year that it was gonna be a one and done for me. It was a little cloying, a little like in my mouth a little bit, if you know what I mean for a candle. Um, but I think that in a scrub, I can still get down with it. So the packaging is cute. I like that it has a pink cap here. The keynotes are sweet pink pineapple, palm sugar, and sun-drenched nectar. So yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just a, a body care form of um, orange pine pineapple sunrise or whatever it was. I don't freaking know, whatever, a year ago. So I have said before on my channel that I feel like the sand and sea salt scrubs don't really smell like this scent. I feel like maybe it's just me or maybe I'm onto something, but I feel like they're starting to smell a little bit more like the scent, but it still smells like pink pineapple sunrise plus something else. Like to me, there's very much so like an earthy, not quite woody, but almost maybe like a nutty kind of note. And I, I, like I said, it just smells like the scent plus the thing that it's made out of. So 
I don't know. Um, if you are into sand and sea salt scrubs, I still like them. I enjoy them. I just know that I purchased them realizing that it's really not going to smell true to the fragrance in a way that a sugar scrub would be. So it's still good. It is, of course, a really nice scrub that I like to use on my legs especially. But yeah, I'm happy to have this. Okay, that got a little bit incoherent, I think, but let's move on. <laughs> so the next item that I had my eye on is another item. I believe I paid for this item. This is a foaming uh, hand soap in Guava Colada. So this packaging is new. Is this fragrance new for this year? I'm not really sure. But anyway, Guava Colada, the keynotes are tropical guava, mouth-watering honeydew, and coconut cream. So I smelled it in store and decided that I really liked it. It smells like a very smooth um tropical fruit kind of scent so i don't think that it's offensive i do get kind of a creamy note there's something kind of smooth about it i only picked up one hand soap just because i am trying to really pare down my hand soap collection but i really wanted the guava colada scent and yeah i think it's really nice i don't see myself necessarily using it until the summer just because i do have my soaps situated for my spring challenge and I'll link that intro video down below by the way um, but I do see myself using this up in the next couple months so once summer starts. The next time that I um, picked up were a couple of travel size items so I picked up some travel size items because I really didn't want to pay $10.99 shipping for free stuff I don't know it just seemed kind of weird to me so what I decided to do was yeah pick up this soap get myself to at least ten dollars so that the shipping would be 5.99 and then i could use a coupon so i purchased the actual or i actually purchased my soap and i also purchased some minis so i purchased a mini fight and fragrance mist at the beach i do have a couple of these but i do enjoy at the beach i could use it kind of any time of year i mean i really like it as I think it's decidedly a summery scent, but because I really prefer warm weather over not, I think that at the beach is a really great fragrance for me. I will say that at the beach, uh, at the beach packaging, it has changed. I think last year it changed. And I will say, I hardly ever say this, but I think it changed for the better. So I think that at the beach has never had ugly packaging, but I actually really enjoy this kind of like gold fleck kind of packaging I think it's pretty cute and I think in the full size it's very beautiful too so at the beach this came out I think in 2017 and I've really enjoyed it since then so love it I'm glad to have it in a um in a mini I will say though that these prices have definitely gone up this is 850 for two and a half ounces so get a load of that 850 for two and a half ounces but again I just needed to get to like a ten dollar thing I always use up my minis so here you go and they're always on a sale for like buy two get one or whatever which isn't it's not fabulous but you know it kind of is what it is if you just need to like get some more dollars for your cart or whatever for a coupon or something then i feel like minis are always a good way to go and this is what i did for that so anyway i got the little fine fragrance mist i also got two of these mini body creams as well so let's see if it has notes no notes on the minis but yeah it just smells like very sandy coconut sea salt kind of fragrance I really enjoy it so it's definitely not for everyone but I really like it so again two of these I didn't have any mini lotions or mini moisturizers so I decided to pick these up so again these are $7.50 and then $8.50 and then buy two get one you know whatever so those will get used up and appreciated I got a couple of free items from in store. I had two different coupons for free body care items. I decided to pick up a mini lotion in whipped berry meringue. Um, no keynotes, but I'm I'm pretty sure this is just a repackage of Boardwalk Boardwalk Taffy, something like that. Um, it's come out a couple of times, so um, kind of a. Uh, an unoffensive light berry note um so yeah i mean i just needed some more mini lotion so i decided to pick this up and i was more interested in this than um, the bubbly rose so i decided to get this one instead so um again it's one of those things where it's like i'll use it up eventually don't really have a ne necessarily have a plan for it right now but it'll get used up and appreciated next one i also picked up a free mini in fiji sunshine guavatini so i had a full size of this last summer and i kind of decided that by the end of the full size i was pretty tired of it but i can still get down with a mini so uh again no keynotes but this is kind of like just i mean 
kind of like a, it's kind of fakey. Like this does not smell like something I would want to eat, but it does smell quite tangy and like a sweet, almost like a syrupy kind of guava scent. So I really like it. Again, in a mini, I can do like a full size shower gel, but I just really don't want a full size lotion or cream in it or whatever. It just smells too plastic after a while to me, but yeah, in a mini, I can definitely get down with it. I really enjoy that this scent comes back. It's just that, like I said, after last year, I think I'm good with just the minis moving forward. Okay, and the very last time I picked up, I was actually one from online. I wanted to share it last because this is like the most ridiculous thing I've ever purchased from Bath & Body Works. So I also picked up online with a reward, this little um, like flamingo pocket back holder. And it has this uh, kind of like gold plated uh, lobster hook, lobster claw or whatever. So I've been attaching this to my purses just on the outside. I picked this up because, and I had my eye on it for a while actually, because a little known fact about me is that I really love flamingos. So I've got flamingo stationery. I've got flamingo luggage. I've got my lanyard with my keys has flamingos on it. So I really like flamingos. I think that they're really beautiful. So <laughs> it's so obnoxious, especially with this little like poofy bit here and with the uh, glitter in its neck and its, uh, its beak, but honestly, I kind of love it for that reason. So this I think was like $9.95. So I decided to use one of my coupons to use it up, but um, to like to pick it up, but oh my goodness, I freaking adore this thing. <laughs> it's so fun and cute. And I have definitely been using um, my pocket bags more often just because they're on the outside of my purse now. So right now I've got an a blueberry crumble pocket back and I really love it. It's so fun. It's so ridiculous and obnoxious and crazy and kind of makes me look like a weirdo, but <laughs> But I freaking love this thing. It's so adorable. So anyway, just wanted to share that. But I'm really glad to have something kind of crazy but very fun from Bath & Body Works too. So that is my kind of like, I felt like this was not very cohesive, but it is what it is. So this was just kind of my uh, collective hauling of minis, of free stuff, of this. Um, but it's been really fun. I did break my low buy. Um, this was what... And I'm counting just body care here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I've used up, I think one, I wanna say like 27 or 28 products since I started my low buy. And there's these are the nine that I've purchased. So my rule for myself is that I'm purchasing one product for every five that I use up. So I did break it, but I think that I will not be purchasing a whole lot in the month of April. So I think that by the time April is over, right? Or at least by the, no, by the time March is over, um, then I should, be like caught up with that low buy if that makes sense so anyway that is it i hope you enjoyed my kind of messy haul but it kind of is what it is um as always please make sure that you like comment subscribe i'm gonna be back in my next video with this same exact aesthetic doing my first ever goose creek haul i'm really excited about it because i've finally pulled the trigger on goose creek as always like, comment, subscribe, follow me on instagram at schoolhouse of iron i'll put that down below check out my goose creek haul and i'll see you next time bye